would like to hear a story? Who would this enjoy land a tale will never of the gods? While clan battles clash. There has always been more. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. Silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in the cloak, with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long.
Have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my satyr that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi. Javi! Why walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? for you, Javi. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm-hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. 
I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. <laughs>